you know, a lot of you short riders out there tend to avoid dirt bikes because they sit up a lot higher than other street bikes. And it scares the heck out of you not being able to put both of your feet down. And I've done videos in the past where I told you guys that don't be scared of seat height. You guys got to get over that mental hurdle. That's all it is, man. It's just fear. Um, and it's true, man. But I will tell you guys why you may want to consider getting a supermoto for those of you that are short. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. I'm going to tell you this, guys. When you put supermoto wheels on a dirt bike, it drops the height, man. Check this out. When I got this bike for the first time and I sat on it with the dirt wheels, like my, I could, you know, I would flat foot it, but it wasn't like this. Look at this. My knees are bent, 100% flat foot, knees bent. It sits a lot lower, man. At least it feels that way to me than my WR250R and, and the way this bike was set up when it was on, you know, in dirt form. But I'll tell you guys that you guys are missing out on some serious fun, man. Because this bike does a little bit of everything, man. And it's so lightweight and it rips. <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys are missing out on fun. It feels... The feeling, the confidence that you, you new riders will have on this bike because it is so lightweight that it will feel like almost like a mountain bike. <laughs> this thing rips. But you guys would absolutely love it, man. I'm telling you, you've got to try it. Don't start on this bike though, it's too much power for a new rider. Go ahead and start on a WR250R DRZ400 with supermoto wheels. <laughs> this thing, the wheel pulls up like, it just, you gotta work hard to keep the front wheel down, man. <laughs> but you short riders out there, you're missing out, man. You know there's... <laughs> you guys are missing out though, man. You know, you got... Dude, there's a chick on YouTube. I think her name goes by Sarah's or something like that. She freaking rides a supermoto. She's like 5'3", I think, or 5'4". She rides the hell out of supermotos, busting 12 o'clock wheelies and endos. And, and uh, she is amazing on the bike, man. And, there's a lot of chicks out there that are riding supermotos out here, so I don't want to hear this. Oh, it's too tough. It ain't, believe me, that the seat height drops with the supermoto wheels, man, significantly. To this bike is absolutely. <laughs> oh, man, this bike. <laughs> oh, man. And you can go mess around off-road, man. Get some slide action up in here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the only thing is, it's wet out here right now, man. I'm still getting used to this bike's power. It's just, this thing is violent, man. <laughs> I love it, but get some slide action. <laughs> Woo! Awesome, man. But you can get off. It's a challenge. You can get up here and have fun with it. tires bro you gotta be real careful <laughs> you gotta be extra careful with these tires man it doesn't like wet 
some slide action. Some slide action. It's good times, man. Woo! And what's awesome, like I keep telling you guys, is you can drop the hell out of these bikes, you can beat them up, and they keep on going. Hey, look, the fire department there. Somebody's there. <laughs> they weren't there when I was, when I needed them, man. I'm at the fire station, man, and I can't get nobody to answer. The hell? But this thing is so amazing, man. I highly recommend it. You got to add one of these bikes to the garage. They just rip. It'll be the most fun you'll have on a motorcycle. But don't let seat height deter you from riding. But like I said, the super, with the supermoto setup, lowers the bike. You'll feel more confident on it. And you'll have so much fun. If things get dicey, just hop off of it. Oh, baby. Ah! <laughs> Don't worry about the bike, it'll be okay. It'll start right back up. And you don't have to be, you're not all worried about it getting scratched up or nothing, you know? <laughs> See that mirrors pop over here? Put them right back. They're good to go, baby. Look at that. This thing just rips. <laughs> Woo! I love it, baby. You gotta get one. But anyways, don't let seat height deter you. Get the supermoto, it lowers it. You'll have fun like I'm having, guys. But anyways, for those of you guys that always ask me about my gear, my camo pants, my boots, my gloves, cameras, everything, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. Or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com, click on the menu tab, My Gear, and there's a bunch of links there to all of my gear cameras and everything and if you want to see more of my videos click on the menu tab my videos and there is a bunch of playlists there with over 1200 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through so hopefully you find something that will inform you entertain you hey hit thumbs up guys if you like this video share this video comment really helps my channel helps my videos i appreciate all you guys i love talking with you all that's why i keep doing these videos because i love talking motorcycles this is the only material thing in the whole wide world that i that makes me extremely happy and i love i could do with all without all other material stuff except for a motorcycle i love it and you will too baby but anyway, subscribe to my All of a Motorcycle channel and go check out my other channel, Book Out Moto. Joe Case is a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything, Bug Out Moto. As a courtesy, I included two video playlists. One for new riders, and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders, and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.